Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am a full-time reseller, which means I buy clothes mostly from the Goodwill outlet and resell them for profit online um, on places like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. So today I have for you one of my favorite types of videos to film. It's a Goodwill outlet haul. So I spent $35.23 today and got 24 pounds at $1.39 a pound. So I'm just gonna go through and show you what I bought to resell and give you some tips and tricks along the way. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and feel free to hit that like button if you like this video. Alright, so guys, it had been over a week since I'd been to the thrift store. Probably about nine days, guys, which is like a record for me. I don't, when I go that long without going to the thrift store, I start to kind of hate my job. So, although I still have things right over here on my um, rack to list, I needed to go to the thrift store for like my mental sanity. So this morning I woke up and just decided I was going to the thrift store. I was gonna to go to the Goodwill outlet and I was just gonna go for a few hours. So I got there around 10 and I left around noon. So I was only there for a little while, but I did manage to get almost three bags full of stuff. So let's jump into the hall so you can see what I got. And hopefully I'll be getting this listed soon. If you see something you like that you'd like to claim, um, feel free to comment down below and we can work out a deal maybe through my email. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I got is this really cool vintage sweater, no, vintage blazer. It has a dry cleaning tag. The tag is Jessica Howard. It is a vintage label, but I just liked it because it was cropped and it has like this really cool scrolling detailing on it, which I thought was really pretty. This would look really cute with like a dress or some high-waisted pants. Um, I looked around this item to see if I could find the piece that went with it because I'm sure it was a set in its original glory, but oh, I couldn't find it. So I just bought it by myself. All right, I've bought this brand a lot in the past, Leslie Faye, um, another vintage style. This is just an 18 women's skirt, but I really liked the pleated style. I liked the red polka dots. This is something that I would take and put in my personal closet if it was my size. I just absolutely love that style. All right, this is something that I may keep from my personal closet. I'm gonna try it on and see if I want to keep it, but it's this really cute Lucky Brand top. It's a size small Lucky Brand, and I just really like this embroidery detail on the front. It's just plain on the back. It's got like that kind of burnout, distress style to it. All right, next I got these Kashyyyk, um, Sleep by Kashyyyk, whoops, um, pants. Actually, they're shorts. They're just like sleep shorts, and they have little flamingos all over them. They're like a size... 26 28 and i like selling sleep by kashik normally i pick it up when it's a set but those were just too cute to pass up on sometimes i just buy things because they're cute all right these pants are mod cloth pants they are a size 14 which i feel like is a good size to pick up in a pair of velvet skinny pants um they have little pockets on the back too these definitely need to be cleaned in lint rolls and there's lots of lint on it now but i'm pretty sure i can take care of those so really cute pants. All right, this is definitely an older style, so I don't know if this was necessarily my, the best buy ever, but um, they're Prana pants, and the new Prana label looks different than that now, but um, they're in good condition. They're just like some yoga pants, and they're super soft, like barely worn, so I decided I'd give them a shot, even though they probably won't sell for as much, maybe $20 tops. Um, I've sold these before, except for the other pair I sold were flawed. These ones seem to be in perfect condition. They're just these Victoria's Secret um, pajama pants, and I really like the Christmassy style to them. So this is a good time of year to sell these. I better get these listed very soon. All right, next are these Lucky Brand pants. They're size 10, 30. They're the Ava cropped flare. I really like these because they look pretty high rise, and I liked the raw hem and um it's kind of got like a twisted style look to it anyway it looks like a good style to me with all the distressed detailing so i figured i would give those a shot and see how they do all right this was kind of a wild card for me but i did look it up when i was in the bins it's this like alpaca 
poncho. I'll have to like insert a picture here because it's kind of be hard to show you otherwise. It's this really cool poncho that has a neck tie detailing. But let me see if I can find the tag. This is how I knew to pick it up. It says made in Peru and it's, um, I thought it said 100% alpaca, but I just looked up this label. I typed that into eBay and just typed in poncho style and these had sold for around $60. So I figured it was worth a shot to see how that does for me. Once again, I can't pass up on doilies when I see them in a set. So these are a bunch of little doilies. I think there's probably a few more in there somewhere, but I bought them all together. I'm gonna sell them in a lot. Those normally go for around 10 to 15 bucks for me. Ha, there we go, there's another one, it's a heart shape. But um, yeah, I always pick them up and they always sell for me. All right, next is this Oshkosh Bagosh little pair of corduroy overalls. I just think that is the cutest thing. And it's this floral print and it has the snap legs. So yeah. All right, this is Skies Are Blue, which I think is Urban Outfitters or it's just like a Marshalls brand. I'm not really sure. But um, I just got it based on style. I think it's a cute style. It has little side pockets, just a short little dress with this crisscross back. I don't know, maybe I'll have to wear this once during dress summer before I decide to sell it. It is really cute. I have a couple Tommy Bahamas. Um, this is one, this is 55% silk, 45% cotton. I think the fabric blend is part of what sold me on it. Um, it's a pretty basic print. It's really just like a blue tan button front top. Let me see what size it is, it's a size large. But I got it because of the fabric content. That one may take a little bit longer to sell because it's not like a super interesting print, but it is very classic. Okay, I got these Nike, just dry fit style um, legging pants. They're like knee length. And they got the little zip pouch in the back. It says Nike running on it. I find that these kind of things sell really well for me on Mercari. So hopefully that'll go fast over there. Um, another thing that sells fast for me on Mercari is Fabletics. So this one actually still has the pull tag in it. They're size small. And they're like this burnout faded purple um, leggings with this really cool detailing on the side. I really like those. Next is this really cute American Eagle Outfitters sweater. And it has this really pretty um, embroidery all over the front. It's a size small, although it does look a little small. It's not like an oversized small like we currently find most of the time, but I'm gonna have to untie that knot. It's pretty tight, so I'm gonna have to work on that, but really cute little sweater. All right, this was kind of um, a risky buy. It's just something I had to save from the landfill. Um, I do that sometimes. So I'll find something cool vintage, and I'm like, that cannot go to a landfill. Somebody needs this. So it's from Kid Collection. It's a size 12, made in the USA is what the tag says. And it's just this adorable little dress, and it has lace, under layer with like the tool and um, it has like a really pretty pearlized buttons in the back this pretty lace collar with the flower it's just so over the top and I feel like some little girl needs to have a tea party and wear that dress because it's just so precious all right one more thing in this bag and then we'll move on to the other two all right next is this loft um, it's the softened shirt I have bought this particular line of the loft before and it's always sold for me so hopefully this one does well. It's like a cropped shirt and it's button front and it is really, really soft. So like three fourth sleeves, like a dolman style sleeve, really cute top. All right, next, I got this skirt for me. It's just a plain black pencil skirt and I liked it. So I got it for myself. Hopefully it fits good because it is a nothing brand. The brand is royalty for me. So if this doesn't fit me, I don't know. We might have to re-donate it or give it to a friend because I don't know that it's going to resell. Next is this Talbot's top. It's like this really pretty um, green color and it's not even really capturing the correct color green on the screen there. It's like a bright Kelly green and it has the scalloped edges and this little keyhole back. This is a perfect one to tag for St. Patrick's Day. So I know St. Patrick's Day isn't exactly around the corner, but you know, I got this shirt for me. It's just like a little eyelet top and you know, Old Navy, high-end stuff right here. This is the kind of stuff I buy for myself. But I just got rid of a white shirt that had like lace detailing in my closet clean out video. So if you haven't watched that, you can watch me clean up my closet. But um, I picked this up to kind of replace that one. All right, this dress I just got because it's new with tags. 
The brand is 212 Collection. It's from Kohl's. It was originally $54, but it's just this really cute like fit and flare style purple dress with a zip back. 25% of my proceeds for dress sales are being donated to Dress Ember this month. So I'm picking up a few extra dresses here and there when I get them for a good deal. And I think it's a neat style. That's why I picked that one up. All right, next. This is a Reebok just workout style top and it has this really cute um, detailing in the back. I love all the stitching on it. I just picked it up based on style. It looks like a really good style. All right, I found some Miss Me jeans. Look at those blingy butts. So it's like this floral blingy butt on these, which is really fun. It is missing two of the rivets here, but I have sold Miss Me's like that in the past. And when you're shopping at the bins, I mean, you really can't go wrong. You will definitely make a profit on Miss Me's when you're paying bins prices. Um, the hem is frayed. So I'll just disclose that. They're size 26 boot cut. All right, guys. <laughs> Another vintage treasure I couldn't leave behind. Um, it does have stains. I'm going to try to treat the stains, but at the end of the day, guys, if there is still a stain, I will still sell it and just disclose the stain. But the brand is, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to show you right there. There's the label. But look at this really beautiful embroidery on the front and just like this sweater this quilted detailing all the way down the front it's a zip front and it zips about halfway down and it's just it's just so good like it looks like maybe a 70s style and i just i couldn't pass it up it's a size 16 but definitely a vintage 16 it looks like a lot smaller than that but there's a stain right there which isn't like a great spot and i think there was another stain somewhere else lower on the front but if i can't get it out i'll just price a little lower but if i can get that stain out this should go for a good amount so we shall see all right almost at the end of this bag um this was in my shopping cart when i got to the bins like someone had left it in there but i actually needed some of these ornament hooks so i left it in the cart and i bought them all right next this skirt is really cute it the brand is nurture it's a size 16. I picked it up just based on style. It's like a really pretty linen cotton blend skirt. I think it's linen cotton. Let's see. Yeah, linen cotton and spandex, but it's just this really pretty skirt and I loved the style of it. I've sold one like this in the past that fit me and it sold really fast. So I just figured this is a really classic style that hopefully someone else will appreciate as much as I did. All right, this next bag has something really big in it. So it's not a lot of stuff. So hold on we're almost done here all right the first item here is this 100 percent linen tommy bahama top and it's just really pretty striped detailing men's button front shirt and yeah looks like it's in perfect condition so hopefully that does well it's not exactly like the craziest printer style but from the bins i was fine with that if i was at a normal goodwill and that was priced around five bucks i probably wouldn't have picked it up but for the price i paid for it i figured it was worth a shot all right this is a Harley Davidson top. It's 100% cotton, extra large Harley top. It's just like this button front and it's got Harley Davidson logos all over it with this like abstract, I don't know, like grass looking print all throughout it. It's just a really cool print. And the buttons are even have the Harley logo on it, which I thought was pretty cool. So that is all the clothes I got. The last thing I got, <laughs> is another chenille blanket so if you watch one of my older videos i had a chenille blanket and i listed it and it sold for like 90 dollars within minutes of posting it so I, I don't know that this one will sell as quick um but i had to grab it it's just this beautiful creamy chenille blanket it's just beautifully textured i absolutely love it um, I'm not sure that this one is quite as vintage as the other one because the tag on it just maybe looks, makes it look a little less old. So let me see if I can find the tag on it so I can show it to you. So the Columbine Cody home collection. So there is the tag. It looks like it maybe could be from the eighties or nineties, maybe at the oldest, but I don't think this one is like from the seventies or sixties or anything. So anyway, if you know how to date that tag or anything about it, let me know. But I did do quick comps on eBay and it looks like blankets like this were selling anywhere from like 40 to $80 just because this one isn't quite as colorful as the other one I, I got. It doesn't have floral detailing on it. It's just cream white. So it's a little more neutral. 
But um, yeah, I figured I'd give it a shot. It does have some discoloring on it, but I'm gonna try to wash it with OxyClean and see if that helps make a difference. And yeah, we'll see what happens with it. If not, it fits my bed so I could keep it. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna get this washed, cleaned up and see how it turns out. And hopefully I can make some good money off of it. So that is my Goodwill Outlet haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe it inspired you to get out there and go thrifting and check out the Goodwill Outlet. Don't be afraid of it. It is a wonderful place, <laughs> um, a great place to get inventory at a very good price, get it really cheap. So I paid um, $35 for all this stuff. This one blanket should pay for everything else in my haul. Um, that's what I love about going to the Goodwill outlet is usually you can just sell one or two things and make all your money back. And then everything else after that is profit. So it's just like a really low investment and great return on your investment. Um, and as, even as far as time, I spent a couple hours there and got probably, I don't know, this is probably going to sell for around $350. I found that usually for every dollar I spend, I make 10 back approximately. So yeah, I'm excited to get all this listed and I, I don't feel that powerful urge to go thrifting like I did at the beginning before I went thrifting this morning. So I feel better and I feel like I can finally conquer the items on my rack over here and then get this stuff washed while I work on conquering that rack. So wish me luck. I gotta go photograph and list some stuff. So I will see you next time. Bye.